Welcome to Fanfiction Audiobook. Comprehensive Manga. Saiyans Beginning in a Dream. Chapter 61. From the moment Chin Chuan chased Dio with teleportation and pinned Dio to the ground, to the time Blackbird grabbed the world's neck and lifted it up, it only happened in a split second after the passage of time. Dio's, World, and Kujo Jotaro's, Platinum Star, these two stand in abilities to stop time are not unlimited. After time passes, you need to leave a few breaths before you can continue to use it. This is what Jotaro Kujo said in his heart in the sixth part. The situation was very urgent at that time, and it was obviously impossible for Jotaro Kujo to think nonsense in front of an enemy who did not have the ability to read minds. Therefore, this limitation does exist. As Dio has the same substitute ability as Jotaro Kujo, the time stop of the world naturally has this limitation. A few breaths didn't last long, but for Dior now, it was definitely as painful as slow motion. His head was pressed firmly to the ground, and the substitute's neck was strangled. Now Dior felt that it was difficult to breathe. Although a vampire would not die even if he suffocated, he knew that it would be impossible for Chin Chuan to hold him down and then stop moving. He will definitely do something, and he will not escape death in the end. When he escaped, he chose a shaded place. Although he was on the street now, the tall buildings around him also blocked the sunlight from him. And with Chin Chuan's power, it would be absolutely fine to throw him out of the shadows and let him be directly illuminated by the sun. When the time comes, your body will disintegrate like powder soaked in water, and finally turn into dust and disappear into the air. But before he could try to resist, he felt a burst of pain coming from both arms. Ah! In Dio's body, the black bird has swallowed the arms of the world and is absorbing the power from the world. After the stand-in is injured, its injuries will also be reflected back to the body. Therefore, after the world lost its arms, Dio's arms suddenly exploded and turned into flowing flesh and blood. Because of the vampire's physique, these pieces of meat were even trying to climb back to Dio's severed arm, which looked very curious. This horrifying scene also caused the surrounding passers-by to scream. Some police officers had already picked up their guns and pointed them at this area, trying to use this method to increase their self-confidence. Does this guy want to torture me for fun? Dio's brain was in chaos. With Chin Chuan's power, he could easily crush his head just now and completely lose his ability to think. But he didn't, and instead used his stand-in, Blackbird, to destroy the arms of his stand-in, the world. Not knowing Blackbird's true ability, Dio subconsciously thought that Chin Chuan simply wanted to torture him. But this is just right. This guy, I can feel that now the world can stop time again. After the Blackbird devoured the arms of the world, although Dio was in agony due to the shattering of his arms, he gritted his teeth and activated the cooled ability of the world again. Stop time, the world. Familiar fluctuations spread from the world, and the noisy sounds around him suddenly became quiet. The passers-by on the street stayed in their original postures. It's like Aikida's still mime. Haha, ha, it worked. When Dio saw this, a look of ecstasy appeared on his face. He struggled and slowly moved out from Chin Chuan's hands, then stood up and prepared to continue running away. I, Dio, ended up like this. This guy, what? Dio, who had just stood up took a step, and immediately felt a force coming from his head, and then his body was humiliatingly smashed to the ground just like before. Boom. Just after crawling out of the last pit, he was smashed out of another pit with his head pressed down. This must be a very humiliating scene for Dior. But now he couldn't care less about shame or not. He looked at Chin Chuan's face through his fingers in horror, and then glanced at the surrounding situation to make sure that the passers-by around him were still in a state of time suspension. What's going on? Time has obviously not started flowing yet, why can you move? As his words fell, time stopped and ended. Passers-by around him were surprised to find that a huge pit suddenly appeared on the street. The two people who were in the original pit were moved to the newly appeared pit at some point. Is your time stop over? Then I'll show you something nice. Chin Chuan smiled evilly, why can he move when time has stopped? Is there any need to say that? Blackbird the world. The same fluctuation spread from the blackbird behind Chin Chuan. The passers-by who had just regained their ability to move suddenly stopped in place again, returning to the scene that looked like a still scene before. 
When Dio saw this, his lips trembled slightly, and he understood everything. That's it, that's it. Blackbird's ability is not related to Shadow, its ability is very pure, it is to gain the enemy's ability after devouring it. Before, he thought that Chin Chuan was hiding in the shadow of the black bird's body because of his ability related to the shadow, but that was actually not hiding in the shadow, but hiding in a different space. That was because he had swallowed the subspace miasma, the ability you get later. But now, Blackbird has gained the ability of the world, so Chin Chuan can also stop time, and can naturally move in the space where time is stopped. Just like Jotaro Kujo in the final battle of the third film, but Dio will not know this. Letting you know how you died is my last kindness to you. Be a good person in your next life. After stopping time, 913 Chin Chuan sneered, then stepped down hard, completely crushing Dio's head in an instant, and his brain turned into a ball of paste. The vampire's body is indeed very hard, but so what? Can it be stronger than 40 points of combat power? Oh, by the way, even if the head is destroyed, the body is still alive, right? Looking at the headless Dior's body, Chin Chuan picked it up with a kick and kicked his body towards a place not far away that was not covered by the shadow of the building. Snap. Then time started to flow. With Chin Chuan's ceremonial declaration, time resumed its flow, and Dior's body also fell under the sun. The next moment, like a cracked plaster statue, Dior's body quickly collapsed and decomposed under the sun, and finally turned into dust, dissipating with the wind. At the same time, the system prompt finally arrived. Current World. Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. Main Mission. Destroy Dio. Synchronization of Player Kobold Strength. 100%. Players are requested to try their best to advance the main mission and unlock strength synchronization. Congratulations to the player Kobold for successfully unlocking the 100% synchronization rate of the world of Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. You can choose one of the following rewards to take out of this world. 1. Arrow. 2. Dior's Finger Bones. 3. M1917 Smith & Wesson made in the United States. Chin Chuan was also stunned when he saw the new pop-up prompt window. He didn't expect that after the synchronization rate reached 100%, he could choose a reward and bring it to the real world. But before Chin Chuan could study these three options carefully, a trembling roar came from the side. Put your hands up. Don't move. Chin Chuan looked back and saw that the nearby police officers had pointed their guns at him. Obviously, Chin Chuan's behavior just now scared them to death. Whether he smashed a huge pit into the ground with his hand or created a second pit as if teleporting, they couldn't help but tremble. After all, this is undoubtedly a matter of superpower. People in the 1980s were still in awe of the theory of gods and ghosts. If these police officers hadn't still had responsibilities, they would have been so frightened that they would have run away. In fact, this is indeed the case. If you look carefully, it is not difficult to see that except for a few dedicated police officers, there are not many people left around, and they have all fled. However, Chin Chuan was too lazy to tangle with these policemen. The black bird behind him turned into a shadow and enveloped Chin Chuan. Then, Chin Chuan's figure disappeared out of thin air in front of the policemen, frightening the policemen even more. With the help of Blackbird Air Miasma's alien space to hide his body, Chin Chuan quickly moved to a nearby deserted mansion. This mansion was one of the ones that Chin Chuan had searched during his previous search. It was luxuriously decorated and empty. It was a good time for Chin Chuan to sort out the follow-up information. First I have to choose one of these three options that is useful to me. Chin Chuan looked at the three options given in the prompt window. You can choose one of the following rewards to take out of this world. 1. Arrow. 2. Dior's Finger Bones. 3. M1917 American Smith & Wesson. The three things were all things Chin Chuan had come into contact with in the mission world. Needless to say about arrows, the important prop for Chin Chuan to awaken his substitute was the arrow originally held by Kira Yoshihiro in the fourth part. Dio's finger bones were touched by Dio when he attacked. This thing is placed in the plot of the sixth part and is an important object that allows Pucci, the boss of the sixth part, to fuse Dio's blood. The M1917 American-made Smith & Wesson revolver was in service from 1917 to 1945. 
It was later circulated on the black market as a retired firearm. It fell into the hands of a gangster in Cairo and was snatched away by himself. No matter how you look at it, it seems that only the arrow is more useful to you. Dio's finger bones can be fused into himself through special means to obtain the blood of Dio and Joestar, but Chin Chuan has no need for this thing at all. If he could go to part 6, he might be able to trade this thing with Father Pucci. But firstly, he can't go to the timeline of part 6 now, and secondly, Father Pucci actually doesn't have anything good worth trading. Moreover, Chin Chuan wouldn't dare to use the things he traded from an insidious and cunning boss. Not to mention the M1917 American-made Smith & Wesson. What would he do with an outdated revolver now? If his body is as weak as ordinary people, and his avatar is a bullet-controlling avatar similar to the one in the fifth, pistols, then maybe he will consider it. This thing is like scrap metal to him now. The arrow in the first option was the arrow that was originally supposed to be held by Kira Yoshihiro. This arrow not only allows people to awaken their avatars, but also takes into account the ability to confirm their avatar qualifications. Under certain circumstances, it can help people further develop their avatar abilities on their own. The fourth auspicious shadow, those who awaken by relying on this arrow will eat dust. In this case, if you keep this arrow by your side, you might be able to awaken some new abilities to Blackbird at a critical moment and further enhance your strength. What's more, if this thing is brought to the real world, it will allow him to create a substitute messenger in the real world. Diavolo, the boss in the fifth part, relied on an arrow to develop a substitute messenger. He quickly established the passion organization that was deeply rooted in Italy and almost secretly controlled the power of the country. Although reaching that point would almost inevitably give birth to a traitor, Chin Chuan could still control it if he only created some substitute messengers to work for him on a small scale. Before, Chin Chuan was still thinking about how to make money, but now it seems that if he can get the arrows, he doesn't need to think about making money at all. I choose arrows. After making the choice, the prompt window disappeared instantly, and Chin Chuan didn't feel any changes on his body. That's right, this thing brings items to the real world, so at least you have to wait until he leaves the mission world to see the changes. After deciding on his options, Chin Chuan was ready to put an end to the world. Chin Chuan didn't know if he could enter this world again after completing the main mission. So just in case, he had to get everything he needed in the remaining few hours. The first is the stand in ability of Dior's men. Some of them are quite practical. If you don't get them, you will lose. Dear player Kobold, you have completed the achievement, backquote. Perfect synchronization. The new mission world has been confirmed and recorded. The moment Chin Chuan ate several of Dio's stand-ins and exited the mission world, the system's beep sounded again. Chin Chuan's consciousness did not wake up immediately after exiting the mission world, but fell into darkness just like when he returned to the world of choice. I see, the third world is unlocked after the synchronization rate of one world reaches 100%. Chin Chuan also understood when he saw this prompt window. He originally thought that reaching 50% synchronization rate would achieve something, but it didn't. So what are the conditions required to unlock the fourth Qian King's mission world? The achievement of 100% synchronization rate has been completed. Even if I really increase the synchronization rate of Dragon Ball World to 100%, I probably won't unlock new achievements. What's more, Chin Chuan is now taking the lead to unlock the 100% synchronization rate of Dragon Ball World. In addition, he is also curious about what will happen next after the main mission of Jojo World is completed. Is it a new main mission that will unlock the follow-up plot? But the boss of the fourth part, Kira Yoshikage, has already been nipped in the bud by himself. You can't just ignore your progress in the third plot and force the world line back on track, right? That would be too weird. While Chin Chuan was thinking, he looked at the world selection interface. Although there is a high probability that you will not be able to enter the second world today, you can at least understand the main tasks of the new task world first. Dear Cobbles, please choose the mission world you want to enter. 1. Dragon Ball 2. Jojo's Bizarre Adventure, 3. Fate, 0. Dot. You really can come up with whatever you want. Quote. When he saw the name of the third world, Chin Chuan's mouth suddenly twitched. 
when he was in the Jojo world just now, because he couldn't find Dior's mansion for a long time, Chin Chuan suspected that he would have more lucky E attributes in the Xingyu world. But I didn't expect that after clearing the Jojo world, the third world that appeared immediately was the Xingyu world. Although the plot of Fate Zero only revolves around the Fourth Holy Grail War in Fuyuki City, there is no doubt that it is placed under the entire Katana world. Participants in this Holy Grail War include professors from the Clock Tower and magician killers who were exposed to vampires in their childhood. To say that it does not involve other settings of the Xingyu world would be pure self-deception. Clicking on the details of the Fate Zero mission world, Chin Chuan also saw the main missions of this mission world. Current world, Fate Zero. Main mission, obtain the Holy Grail of the Fourth Holy Grail War. Synchronization of player kobold strength, 0%. Players are requested to try their best to advance the main mission and unlock the strength in the same step as 297. This time the main mission is finally not to eliminate someone, but to obtain the holy grail. That is, the thing that will eventually gush out black mud. But what troubled Chin Chuan even more was that he really couldn't imagine what power he could gain in the holy grail war. The purpose of the synchronization rate is to allow Chin Chuan to bring the new power gained in the mission world out of the world. The Dragon Ball world brought him terrifying combat power, and the Jojo world allowed him to awaken a substitute, which can even swallow other things to gain new abilities. But in the Xingyu world, or the Xingyu world limited to the Fourth Holy Grail War, what valuable new power can he get and let him bring it out at the same time? We can't let him take a dip in the evil of this world, right? He's not a disembodied heroic spirit, so there's no benefit in taking a dip in that thing. As for giving up the Holy Grail War completely and gaining strength from other maps in the world. Just kidding, if you just gain power but can't get the synchronization rate, doesn't that mean you gain it in vain? Even if he causes trouble in the Xingyu world and becomes OU and becomes destructive, as long as he does not obtain the Holy Grail of the Fourth Holy Grail War, his synchronization rate will be 0% no matter how strong Abdi he is. Can't take it out. This main mission and synchronization rate are simply limitations that prevent me from exploring the map. Chin Chuan sighed, feeling a little helpless about the main mission of this mission world. The mission in Dragon Ball World is better, to eliminate Frieza. Although the mission is difficult, at least you don't have to worry about Frieza suddenly dying suddenly while walking on the road. Before the plot advances to the Namek chapter of the original work, Chin Chuan has plenty of time to slowly explore the map of the Dragon Ball world, improve his power, and finally kill Frieza in one wave. We can only take one step at a time and see what happens in the mission world tomorrow. Chin Chuan helplessly glanced at the first option, which was the main source of his strength, Dragon Ball. The fighting power of this world is indeed strong, but because the map covers the entire universe, the journey time is really long. It takes several days to go to Zunuo Star. Even now, Chin Chuan still has to wait four days. In the Jojo world, Chin Chuan also further experienced the advantage of the combat power he gained in the Dragon Ball world, so he was even more eager to gain new progress from the Dragon Ball world. With 40 combat power, you can beat Dio down like a dog. This feeling is very satisfying. Slowly opening his eyes, Chin Chuan subconsciously reached out and touched the side. His sleeping position is very standard, so even if he keeps his mobile phone close at hand, he is not afraid of falling under the bed. Therefore, his mobile phone is usually placed next to his bed, so that he can pick it up and check the situation at the first time. But this time when he stretched out his hand, he found that what he got was not his mobile phone, but something soft. Hmm. Some low moans sounded from beside him, and Chin Chuan realized what he was holding out. I may have to get rid of my habit of touching things at hand as soon as I wake up. Chin Chuan, things didn't go well this morning. Sure enough, when Chin Chuan turned his head, he saw Seu Ogiwara who had been pinched awake by him. It was the first time for Seu Ogiwara to do this kind of thing, and she was tortured so much last night. As a result, she was woken up by Chin Chuan pinching the rabbit again early in the morning, and her face was red with embarrassment. Ahem, this was an accident. I originally wanted to get my phone. Chin Chuan coughed twice in embarrassment, then quickly picked up his phone from his pillow and glanced at the time. 8.30. Fortunately, it's not very late. 
Although I worked hard for several hours last night and didn't rest until 12.30, the eight hours in the mission world are still quite accurate. Are you going out so early? Seeing Chin Chuan get up from the bed, Seu Ogiwara also sat up, looked at the naked Chin Chuan, and asked with a blushing face. Well, I'm getting better with my classmates and there's something going on. Chin Chuan nodded. Today, Saturday, was the day he had made an appointment with Yukinoshita Yukino. He had to wait for Yukinoshita Yukino to send him the specific time and place, and then tell Akaji. He didn't really want to break his promise. By the way, I may be back a little late today. You can buy some clothes and food by yourself without waiting for me. After getting dressed, Chin Chuan took out his wallet again, took out some money and put it on the table. Also buy the daily necessities such as towels and cups that you will use in the future. If the money is used up and it is not enough, let me know. If it were yesterday, Chin Chuan might have hesitated to spend so much money in one go, but now, Chin Chuan is not worried at all. After today's business is over, he is going to get some money. He had just seen the arrow that awakened the substitute on the table, as if it had been placed there randomly from the beginning. With this thing, you don't even have to do it yourself to make money. A. Okay. Seu Ogiwara was sitting on the bed. When she saw Chin Chu taking out some money and putting it on the table, he was stunned, and then nodded quickly. She seemed to think that Chin Chuan would kick her out of the house after today, but when she heard Chin Chuan asked her to buy daily necessities, she understood that she would have to live with Chin Chuan in the future. Does this count as being kept? Seu Ogiwara blushed and picked up the quilt to cover her face, seeming a little shy. If Chin Chuan knew what Ogiwara Seu was thinking, he would definitely feel that Ogiwara Seu was thinking too much. If you can just provide a place to live and be called a sponsor, this is too cheap. In a sense, Ogiwara Seu's values do have some problems. I am afraid that Chin Chuan will have to train him more in the future to turn things around. At 10 o'clock sharp, Chin Chuan arrived at the entrance of Akihabara Station and saw Yukinoshita Yukino, as well as Akaji and Tamaya standing next to her. It came on time, but it was a little too on time. Seeing Chin Chuan appear, Yukinoshita Yukino looked at the time and showed a speechless expression. Generally speaking, shouldn't we arrive early? We just contacted each other via mobile phone and they made an appointment to meet in front of the station in Akihabara at 10 o'clock sharp. Chin Chuan did arrive on time, but his accuracy was a bit exaggerated. He walked out of the station almost as soon as 10 o'clock arrived. If Yukinoshita Yukino hadn't glanced into the station just now, she might have thought that Chin Chuan was hiding in the station on purpose and wouldn't come out before 10 o'clock. This shows that I have a good sense of time. Chin Chuan nodded and said calmly, making Yukinoshita Yukino find it difficult to complain for a while. He looked at Yukinoshita Yukino, Yukinoshita Yukino was as beautiful as ever in her private clothes. If there weren't others around her, she might have been talked to. But then again, why in Akihabara? Yukinoshita Yukino is a literary girl, Chin Chuan knows this, but he doesn't remember that Yukinoshita Yukino is still a home girl. Although Akihabara, as an electronics town, is not only about things related to otaku culture, it doesn't look like a place where Yukinoshita Yukino would take the initiative to propose a date. I didn't mention it, it was Tamaya-san who wanted to come to Akihabara. When it comes to this matter, Yukinoshita Yukino is also a little helpless. Tamaya Shion seems to be a bit familiar. She asked to come out to play, and she directly said that she wanted to come to Akihabara. Yukinoshita Yukino usually doesn't come to Akihabara, but since it is now to let Tamaya and Akaji get along, she can only obey. In the final analysis, she helped Tamaya and Akaji not simply to bring them into love, but to hope that they could correct their personalities. Tamaya usually doesn't like to talk, but as soon as she arrived in Akihabara, her expression became much more cheerful, which Yukinoshita Yukino was happy to see. I see. Chin Chuan nodded, and he understood the reason for choosing the location in Akihabara. So what are you going to do next? The next step depends on what Tamaya San wants to do, because she was the one who proposed coming to Akihabara. Yukinoshita Yukino rubbed the center of her brows, seeming a little distressed. Although it is not a bad thing for Tamaya San to take the initiative to ask for things, I am not very familiar with Akihabara. 
I am afraid that Tamaya san will take the lead next time. Isn't this a good thing? Aren't you worried that Tamaya and Akaji were not good at talking at first? Chin Chuan thought this was not a bad thing and said with a smile. Now that we've come to Akihabara, Tamaya seems to have become more proactive, so we don't have to worry about the Cold War between them, right? Following Chin Chuan's line of sight, Yukinoshida Yukino also saw Tamaya Shion introducing something to Akaji. Judging from her appearance, she must be working on some of the billboards introducing Akihabara. Akaji, on the other hand, nodded in agreement. After all, he wanted to pursue Tamaya Shion, so of course he listened obediently at this time. But looking at Tamaya Shion's performance, he seemed to understand why Yukinoshida Yukino said that Tamaya was a bit mature. That's true, but I didn't expect Tamaya's character to change like this in Akihabara. Yukinoshida Yukino saw this and nodded. Originally, she was really worried that the atmosphere would become awkward after Tamaya and Akaji left. But looking at Tamaya's performance now, there should be no need to worry about them having nothing to say. You said we were going to find an excuse to leave later, right? Have you figured out how to explain it? Seeing Yukinoshida Yukino nodding, Chin Chuan asked again. After all, Yukinoshida Yukino made the plan, so she must have already thought of an excuse to leave. Don't worry, someone will contact me around 11 o'clock, and then we will have an excuse to leave. Yukinoshida Yukino's confidence was still strong. She nodded and seemed to have already arranged everything. But, in a store in Akihabara, Tamaya Shion held an open blind box in her hand, with a small figure inside. This blind box seems to be the peripheral of a certain work. Each person is limited to one purchase, and what she is holding now is the limited edition in the blind box. Thank you Yukino, and thank you Akaji-san and Chinchuan-san. It's okay, just be happy. Even Yukinoshida Yukino's expression was a little stiff at this time. She really didn't expect that Tamaya Zion would call them to Akiba in order to gather more heads to help her open the blind box. Yukinoshida Yukino felt that she seemed a little restrained when she said she was familiar with it just now. You have helped me so much, now it's up to me to treat you. Let's go sit in the cafe over there. Tamaya Shion put away the blind box of figures with satisfaction, and then pointed to a cafe outside the store. Judging from the sign and the maid standing at the door, it is obviously a maid cafe, and it is also a common, specialty, of Akihabara. Has the phone call you mentioned not come yet? Chin Chuan looked at the clock in the store. It was almost 11 o'clock. As soon as he finished speaking, Yukinoshida Yukino's cell phone rang. Everyone looked at Yukinoshida Yukino, and she calmly took out her mobile phone from her bag and put it to her ear. Hello, sister, it's me, what's the matter? Although he was talking about sister, Chin Chuan heard clearly that there was no sound coming from this guy's cell phone. Yukinoshida Yukino herself does not have a good relationship with her sister. Of course, it is impossible for her to ask her sister for help for this kind of thing. Of course, because Chin Chuan's physical fitness is far beyond ordinary people, he can hear the silence on Yukinoshida Yukino's phone, but others cannot hear it, so to others, she does seem to be talking to her sister. Okay, I understand. After pretending to chat for a while, Yukinoshida Yukino turned off the screen of her phone as if nothing had happened and looked at Tamaya Shion. Tamaya san, I'm sorry, Chinchuan san and I have some things to do later, so we have to separate first, so I'll trouble you and Akaji san to go play first. Eh, eh, Tamaya Shion was stunned, she didn't expect Yukinoshida Yukino to suddenly say such words. Just when Chin Chuan was worried about whether Tamaya Shion would say something like, then let's disband like this, he suddenly found that her eyes were wandering back and forth between Chin Chuan and Yukinoshida Yukino. Yukino's sister contacted Yukino, and then Yukino will leave with Chin Chuan. I understand. Tamaya Shion seemed to have thought of something, suddenly stretched out her hand and pulled Akaji over, and nodded to Yukinoshida Yukino and Chin Chuan. No problem, you two can go and taste Shishi Taichuan San, please seize the opportunity. Chin Chuan's mouth twitched, feeling that Tamaya Zion seemed to have misunderstood something. So what's next? Do you want to follow? After separating from Tamaya and Akaji, Chin Chuan looked at Yukinoshida Yukino standing next to him and asked curiously. 
That was the plan at the beginning, but now it seems that it is not necessary. Yukino Shida Yukino shook her head slightly. Looking at Tamaya san's appearance, I should be able to communicate with Akaji normally. There is no need to follow them all the time. Then we are also disbanded. Hearing this, Chin Chuan asked subconsciously. After all, listening to Yukino Shida Yukino's words, it seems that the next step is to let Tamaya and Akaji develop naturally. Of course not. If anything goes wrong, Akaji san will contact you, right? However, Yukinoshida Yukino shook her head and said, So in order to ensure that there are no accidents, I have to work with you, 667, to ensure that they can understand the situation as soon as possible if they have problems. Chin Chuan was speechless when he heard this. In other words, he still had to act with Yukinoshida Yukino today. Originally, he was thinking of finding some underworld to try out the effect of the arrows he carried after disbanding, but it seemed that he couldn't do it yet. What are your plans today? Yukinoshida Yukino seemed to have noticed something, and looked at Chin Chuan with some surprise. If you have something to do, it's okay to leave. Yukinoshida Yukino is essentially a good person. Even the service department was established to help others, so if possible, she doesn't want to do things that make people feel embarrassed. If Chin Chuan really had something to do, she wouldn't have to stay by Chin Chuan's side. It's not a big deal either. Quote. After thinking for a while, Chin Chuan finally shook his head. Anyway, those gangsters and the like can't escape, so they are not in a hurry. Didn't you say you wanted to introduce me to a kendo gym? Can you go now? Originally, according to the agreement, I was supposed to go to the kendo gym with Yukinoshida Yukino tomorrow. But since today's plan to follow Tamaya and Akaji has been abandoned, I can go to the kendo hall first with the free time. Although Chin Chuan has now acquired the ability of a double, which is more suitable for hand-to-hand -hand combat, it is not a bad thing to learn about swordsmanship. Even if the sword may not be used as the main means of fighting in the end, it will not hurt to learn more fighting methods. Occasionally playing with the air sword is also an additional means of attack. In the end, Frieza would occasionally use Key Slash, which shows that there is something remarkable about this type of technique. Do you want to go now? That's okay. Although I told the owner to go tomorrow, they don't seem to have anything to do today. Yukinoshida Yukino nodded, took out her mobile phone and prepared to contact the other party. That kendo gym is the property of the Busujima family, a famous kendo family. I have been in contact with the Busujima family's daughter, and I will tell her now. Dot the Busujima family. Chin Chuan's expression was a little subtle, as if he had heard some extraordinary surname. He remembered searching the internet and confirming that there was no Fujimi Academy in this world. Well, their eldest daughter is studying at Shuchin Academy. Yukinoshida Yukino responded to Chin Chuan's words smoothly while sending the message. This is reasonable to say. Although there is no Fujimi Academy, Busujima Seiko, as the daughter of the Busujima family, is indeed qualified to enter an aristocratic school like Shuchin Academy. It's just that Chin Chuan really didn't expect that the Poisonous Island family still exists in this world. Could it be that there are really some forces in this world that are trying to create something like a zombie virus? Although even if a zombie crisis really breaks out, he doesn't have anything to fear due to his strength, but he doesn't want his only world where he can relax to be destroyed. For fighting and other matters, just having fun in the mission world is enough. The real world is a rare resting place for him. It seems that just establishing a money-making force on a small scale is not enough. We need to expand the scale. At least it must be able to collect some intelligence for me. Originally, Chin Chuan's idea after getting the arrow was simply to use it to make some money, but now it seems that this force must be able to help him collect intelligence. Okay, I've already made an agreement with her. There aren't many people in the kendo gym right now, so we can go there. Just when Chin Chuan was thinking about what to do later, Yukinoshida Yukino also spoke. She nodded to Chin Chuan and had already negotiated with the eldest lady of the Busushima family. Welcome, miss. Why? In the kendo hall, Yukinoshida Yukino brushed his face, and Chin Chuan soon saw the owner of the kendo hall, an old man who looked a little older. Although he looks old, his muscles are still obvious, and he is obviously a capable coach. 
Qin Chuan could sense the qi of everyone present. This old-looking kendo master was the strongest among the people present except Qin Chuan. The second strongest person was a tall woman in casual clothes standing next to the kendo hall hall. Just looking at her figure, it was hard to imagine that she was actually a high school student. Yukino Shida Yukino is completely the opposite extreme. As if sensing Chin Chuan's gaze, Busuji Maseko, who was swinging his sword, also looked over. After looking at Chin Chuan, he smiled and nodded to him. Generally speaking, at this time, Busuji Maseko would look at Chin Chuan in a different light because he felt the sharp aura on the opponent's body. But it is a pity that the gap between the two is too big. When Chin Chuan did not actively explode his chi, Busuji Maseko should not be able to feel anything. This must be classmate Chin Chuan. Looking back, the master of the kendo gym had also looked over, probably because of the name Yukinoshida, he was quite polite to Chin Chuan. Have you ever been exposed to kendo before? No. Chin Chuan answered truthfully that he had never had any chance to come into contact with kendo before. My knowledge of kendo basically comes from some anime and novels, and I don't even understand the point three rules. And he doesn't really want to know the rules, he just wants to know some swordsmanship skills, people in the mission world don't talk about any rules when they fight you. Really? Why don't you try it out first? Is it okay, Seiko? The master of the kendo gym didn't care, he just nodded, then looked at Busujima Seiko and asked. I'm okay. Busuji Maseko naturally had no objection, just looked at Chin Chuan and said with a smile. This junior, come here and change into your kendo uniform. Chin Chuan did not refuse. Although he felt that the kendo uniform could not protect him, it was still a standard procedure. Anyway, changing clothes is not particularly troublesome, and there is no need for him to jump out and contradict others. It looks pretty much like that. Looking at Chin Chuan who changed into kendo clothes from the locker room, Yukinoshida Yukino commented like this. Without the mask, Chin Chuan's appearance was already outstanding. After experiencing several battles recently, he had a fierce temperament. Even Yukinoshida Yukino had to admit that Chin Chuan was quite attractive both in appearance and temperament. Even though she had no idea about love, her heart skipped a beat when she saw Chin Chuan walking out. I probably get a lot of confession letters in school. Chinchuan didn't know what Yukinoshida Yukino was thinking, but took a wooden sword from Busushima Seiko. The wooden sword was very light, and Chin Chuan had the idea of trying to inject chi into it. However, it was estimated that if his own chi was injected into it, the wooden sword would be broken immediately, so Chin Chuan still suppressed this impulse. Then, junior fellow student, Try to observe my sword swing movements and trajectory as much as possible. Busuji Maseko stood opposite Chin Chuan, also holding a wooden sword in her hand. Because she was instructing novices, she couldn't use her full strength when she came up. Oh one. Seeing Chin Chuan also holding the wooden sword, Busuji Maseko took a step forward, then swung his sword and stabbed Chin Chuan in the shoulder. The speed is not very fast, but if it is an ordinary person, it will definitely be difficult to react. Busuji Maseko is also ready to stab the target. But, snapped. Chin Chuan raised the wooden sword in his hand and easily stopped the wooden sword that was stabbing him, preventing him from going any further. I see, this is how it feels to hold a sword. Although it was his first time to hold a wooden sword, Chin Chuan also had a clear understanding of the feeling of fighting with a weapon. Although the synchronization rate is not high, the science fighting talents seem to be a little synchronized, allowing Chin Chuan to find a feeling of fighting. Um, Busuji Maseko was a little surprised when she saw that the sword she thrust out was accurately blocked by Chin Chuan, but at the same time she also became a little interested. She turned the wooden sword and struck at Chin Chuan's waist, this time she used a little more force and her speed was much faster. However, Chin Chuan casually twisted the wooden sword and easily blocked Busuji Maseko's slash again. Busuji Maseko felt that the wooden sword in his hand was shaking, which was the result of cutting hard. But looking at the wooden sword in Chin Chuan's hand, it was so stable that there was no movement at all. In other words, there was no pressure at all for him to block his own slash. In Chin Chuan's hands, using the sword to block his own chops was as easy as simply holding the sword and doing nothing. 
Junior, you are very strong. Busuji Maseko's eyes lit up. Although her attack failed, it actually made her happy. After confirming that Chinchuan's strength and speed were too strong, Busuji Maseko no longer held back and began to swing the wooden sword to chop at various parts of Chinchuan's body. For a moment, the wooden sword almost drew an afterimage in the air, making Yukinoshida Yukino next to him a little nervous. But what's even more exaggerated is that even though he drew his sword so quickly, Chin Chuan still easily blocked every blow. Chin Chuan didn't have any kendo skills. He simply saw the trajectory of Busuji Maseko's wooden sword, and then placed his own wooden sword on the trajectory. This power and speed. Not only Busuji Maseko, but also the kendo gym master on the side could clearly see the reason why Chin Chuan was able to block all the slashes, and couldn't help showing a shocked look. Miss Yukinoshida, who is your boyfriend? Yukinoshida Yukino was also surprised by Chin Chuan's performance. She knew Busuji Maseko's strength very well, but she didn't expect that the opponent's attacks would be like a child's play in Chin Chuan's hands. She was so shocked that she even forgot to correct the kendo gym master's name for Chin Chuan. A few minutes later, Busushi Maseko finally put away her sword. Her strength is quite good for ordinary people, but her physique is only within the realm of ordinary people after all. Attacking with all her strength for several minutes is naturally her limit. As for Chin Chuan, let alone sweating, his arms never trembled from the beginning to the end. Busuji Maseko's sword struck the wooden sword in Chin Chuan's hand, and Chin Chuan's power could not even be moved. If this force were to be struck with a wooden sword, Busuji Maseko doubted that he would be able to block it with a real sword. The master of the kendo gym came over and took the wooden sword from Busushi Maseko. Sorry, I couldn't do any better. Busuji Maseko gasped, obviously exerting all his strength. But her eyes when looking at Chin Chuan were shining, obviously she was very interested in Chin Chuan. Don't blame yourself. With this kind of strength and speed, there is no point even if I go up. The swordsmanship master shook his head and looked at Chin Chuan. This. Classmate Chin Chuan, do you really want to learn Kendo? It's no wonder that he would ask this question. In his opinion, most people learn Kendo just to keep fit. But Chin Chuan, this power is already beyond what is necessary to strengthen his body, right? That's right. I mainly want to learn some tips on using weapons. Chin Chuan did not hide his purpose. He nodded to the swordsman master and stated his purpose. Things like strengthening his body are of course meaningless to him. What the real world can provide him is mainly skills. Kendo is just one of them. If there is a chance in the future, he will still find another martial arts school to learn fighting skills. At least until he has the opportunity to come into contact with various martial arts schools in the Dragon Ball world, 560 can only make do with these. I see, that makes sense. The master of the kendo hall nodded. Chin Chuan did not seem to have learned kendo. The posture he held the wooden sword just now was just imitating Busushi Maseko's sword holding posture. Because the power gap between him and Busuji Maseko was too big, he was able to steadily block Busuji Maseko's slashes with his wooden sword. But if you are facing a being with the same or even greater strength, that grip will definitely knock the weapon off easily. In that case, then, it's better to let me teach you, master. Just when the kendo gym leader was about to speak, Busuji Maseko on the side couldn't help but speak and took over the task. Originally, Given her personality, she would not do something as rude as interrupting someone else's conversation, but at this moment she couldn't help but speak. Being stared at by Busuji Maseko, Chin Chuan felt like she was just like a hungry man who had seen some delicious food. Are you coming? It's not impossible, but you have to ask for Chin Chuan's permission. Seeing this, the master of the kendo gym turned his attention to Chin Chuan and explained. Chin Chuan, even though Seiko is young, her swordsmanship is almost as good as mine in terms of technique. If she just learns skills, she will definitely be competent. I have no opinion. Chin Chuan naturally didn't mind and nodded in agreement. It's really hard for you to spend a whole day at the kendo gym. After receiving several hours of skills instruction from Busuji Maseko at the kendo gym, Chin Chuan left the kendo gym and also added Busuji Maseko's contact information. But what surprised Chin Chuan even more was that Yukinoshida Yukino actually spent a day with him in the kendo gym, watching him practice kendo skills like this. 
Originally, he thought Yukinoshida Yukino should be completely uninterested in this matter. It's just for a look, and you don't have to go on stage to swing your sword, so there's nothing strange about it. Yukinoshida Yukino turned her head, her cheeks looking a little red maybe because of the sunset. In fact, she was at the kendo hall this afternoon, mainly watching Chin Chuan, kendo and other things, and she was indeed not very interested. I have to say that Chin Chuan is quite handsome when she is serious, especially her battle-related performance, which makes her feel mysterious. After hearing Yukinoshida Yukino's words, Shiji didn't know what to say. He originally thought Yukinoshida Yukino would say, that's because we have to make sure that Akaji and Tamaya know about problems as soon as possible, but she didn't mention it at all. Could it be that she had forgotten about Tamaya and Akaji? Wouldn't that simply turn into an appointment with herself for a day? In fact, Akaji had just sent him a message, saying that his date with Tamaya was over, and he accompanied Tamaya to visit Akihabara for a day. I also asked Chin Chuan and Yukinoshida how their date was going. Chin Chuan simply ignored the last sentence. He originally planned to tell her about the situation at Akaji after Yukinoshida Yukino asked this question. In the end, Yukinoshida Yukino didn't even ask. Chin Chuan really suspected that she had forgotten. Of course, it may also be because you have confidence in Tamaya and Akaji. When parting with Yukinoshida Yukino, Yukinoshida Yukino asked one more question. Are you going to the kendo gym tomorrow? Although Chin Chuan spent a day practicing swordsmanship at the kendo gym today, he basically learned some skills in using weapons from Busujima Seiko. Busujima Seiko also said that she could contact her at any time if necessary, so Yukinoshida Yukino felt that Chin Chuan might go to the kendo gym again in the future. But Chin Chuan thought about it and shook his head. I probably won't go tomorrow. With his strength, learning some weapon usage skills is just the icing on the cake, the main thing is to take him by surprise. For example, if Frieza is hit with a key slash similar to key slash, it might be able to get twice the result with half the effort. However, he cannot completely expect to kill Frieza with this technique, so he will not invest a lot of techniques in the kendo gym. Just learn it once in a while, the key is to gain strength from the task world. Yeah, not sure if it was an illusion, Chin Chuan felt that Yukinoshida Yukino was a little disappointed. But this feeling only lasted for a moment, and Yukinoshida Yukino quickly returned to her calm look. After separating from Yukinoshida Yukino at the station, Chin Chuan was not ready to go home. He first contacted Seu Ogiwara at home and asked about her situation. Seu Ogiwara said that she bought some daily necessities and simple clothes, and also bought some vegetables to take home so that she could cook for him later. From this point of view, Yuan Shashong is indeed planning to stay at Chin Chuan's house. However, Chin Chuan probably didn't have time to rush back for dinner today, so he told Seu that he didn't have to wait for him to finish the meal, and then he put away his phone and prepared to leave. Shimoki Dazawa, this is a very magical place. Although it is not large, it is full of good and bad people, with many cafes and bars. Of course, there are also gangsters gathered here. Although they are all small-scale gangsters, they still have a certain momentum after they gather to a large scale. Chin Chuan didn't choose this place for any other purpose, he simply thought the name sounded familiar. Although he had watched a lot of anime before time traveling, his exposure to subculture was not very deep. As for Shimoki Dazawa, a relatively out-of-the-world subculture place, he had heard of it to some extent. So after seeing Shimoki Dazawa station on the subway, he directly chose to find a ready-made gang here to develop. Why not look for it in downtown Tokyo? Because it's too troublesome. The scale of the underworld in urban Tokyo is often very large, and a top-down system has been formed. Chin Chuan is looking for, of course, the leaders of the underworld, and most of these leaders will not hang out in bars and other places, only some watchers will be stationed there. Even if Chin Chuan came to the door, those watching the scene would probably not be able to call the underworld boss over. In comparison, the scale of the Yakuza in Shimokitazawa is small, and the leaders of the Yakuza only manage a few areas. Basically, it is easy to call their leaders by knocking on the door. In an underground bar in Shimokitazawa, the neon lights have begun to flash, and people have begun to dance in the middle of the dance floor. 
As night approaches, these places that are closed during the day have begun to gradually become lively. Presumably, if we wait a few more hours, the place will be crowded with people and the piercing music will be blaring. Bang! The door was opened, and the people in the bar turned their heads to look, only to find that the person who walked in was a high school student with his hands in his pockets. The visitor was Chin Chuan. After he walked into the bar, he began to look around the environment of the bar. A bar is not a place for children. A strong man sitting at the door of the bar looked at Chin Chuan who walked in, frowned slightly, and seemed not to want to receive Chin Chuan. You'd better leave and come back when you're older. High school students don't have much to do and have many things to do, so the bar manager certainly doesn't care much. However, Chin Chuan ignored him, but after taking stock of the situation in the bar, he nodded with satisfaction. There are so many evil spirits. A lot of people must have died here. That's right, Chin Chuan just scanned the environment of the bar, not just to look at the interior of the bar, but to confirm the number of evil spirits in the bar. Evil spirits are often formed by the resentment of people who died unjustly, so the number of evil spirits can also indicate to a certain extent how many people died here. Obviously, many people have died in this bar, because in Chin Chuan's sight, a large number of black evil spirits were entrenched here, constantly asking, can you see me, to the people in the bar. The strong man standing next to him also had an evil spirit close to his ear, but he obviously couldn't see anything. Boy, are you here to stir up trouble? Hearing Chin Chuan's blunt speech, the strong man's eyes suddenly became fierce. Although he didn't understand what he was talking about about evil spirits, he pointed out that many people had died in the bar, which was very problematic. Many people did die here, because it was once one of the battlefields of Shimokitazawa's underworld, and many people were beaten to death here. If you weren't a gangster, you wouldn't know about this, so in his opinion, Chin Chuan suddenly changed from an ordinary high school student to a kicker. You can't. Chin Chuan didn't answer him, but just took out the arrow from his pocket, only the arrowhead was left in this arrow. Chin Chuan took off the handle of the arrow to make it easier to carry. Anyway, the main purpose of the arrow handle is to facilitate archery, and Chin Chuan uses his own power to launch the arrow. The effect is much better than archery. There is nothing that cannot be scratched. Now the arrow was motionless in Chin Chuan's hand and did not automatically aim at the strong man in front of him. In other words, in the eyes of this arrow, which has the ability to judge the qualifications of a substitute, this strong man does not have the qualifications to be a substitute. This arrow, which was supposed to belong to Kira Yoshihiro, has the ability to guide a substitute. If the target has the qualifications to become a stand-in messenger, this arrow will be like a compass and will actively aim at the target. In the fourth original work of Jojo, Yoshihiro Kira relied on this arrow to automatically search for qualified people and constantly created substitute messengers, causing a lot of trouble for the protagonist group. This ability to confirm the qualifications of a substitute has so far only been possessed by Kira Yoshihiro's arrow, and the other arrows have not shown this ability. So Chin Chuan was quite lucky that the arrow he cut off was Kira Yoshihiro's. If it had been any other arrow, it might not have been so convenient. Boy, are you looking for death? Naturally, the strong man didn't know about the substitute messenger. When he heard Chin Chuan say something like contempt to him, he immediately became angry. As a gangster, of course he can't be a good person. Although he won't actually kill people to avoid trouble, it's okay to teach this kid a lesson. Facing Chin Chuan who was motionless, he stretched out his strong hands, ready to grab Chin Chuan's head and throw him out. However, as soon as he stretched out his hand, he felt another huge force pinch his wrist, 707 preventing him from moving forward at all. What? What's going on? What's got me? The strong man's expression changed, and he felt that no matter how hard he struggled, his hands could not break away from this huge force that appeared out of thin air. If there is a substitute, you can see behind Chin Chuan that the black bird has stretched out his hand and grabbed the strong man's stretched out wrist. Chin Chuan, who has cleared the Jojo world, has brought out the 100% powerful black bird, so now the black bird has the same power as Chin Chuan's body. Even if he doesn't use the abilities of the substitutes he has devoured, he is not afraid of anyone in this world with this power alone. The stand-ins that appeared in the original work were all successfully awakened. 
I have never seen what the stand-ins who failed to awaken look like. Chin Chuan turned the arrow in his hand, and then flicked it lightly under the frightened gaze of the strong man. Poof! The black and gold arrow instantly flew out of Chin Chuan's fingertips and pierced into the strong man's neck as easily as tofu, causing blood to spurt out. Gah! The strong man groaned in pain and fell to the ground with splashes of blood, instantly attracting the attention of the few people in the bar. Ah! Several people who were obviously customers screamed when they saw this scene, and then rushed out towards the door of the bar. Chin Chuan didn't pay attention to them, but when he saw a few people who were obviously bar staff trying to escape, he dodged and stopped in front of them. Just don't leave, I'll need you to contact me later. Several staff members at the bar felt a flash before their eyes, and Chin Chuan's figure appeared in front of them, and they were immediately frightened out of their wits. As staff members of this gangster stronghold bar, they have seen big scenes. When the gangsters fought, several of them saw it live. But that kind of fighting to death was still within their understanding. Chin Chuan's movements and speed were beyond their understanding. Ah, ah. The strong man who fell on the ground was still struggling, but soon, he gradually stopped moving, but Chin Chuan kept sensing with his, chi, so he noticed something abnormal. Boom. The next moment, the strong man's body suddenly exploded like explosives, and at this moment, Chin Chuan also moved. Blackbird World. Time was stopped instantly. Chin Chuan dodged and took out the arrows that had not had time to be affected by the explosion from the strong man's body that exploded in an instant. Then time started to flow. Immediately afterwards, Chin Chuan released the time stop, and the strong man's body continued to explode, exploding in the bar. The arrow had also fallen into Chin Chuan's hands intact, ABDJ. This arrow does not have any immunity to damage. In the fifth part of Jojo, Diavolo's arrow was shattered with a pistol when his subordinate Bulbo committed suicide. What's going on? Why did Erlang suddenly explode? Is there a bomb planted on you? Several bar staff were panicked and looked at Chin Chuan with some fear, suspecting that Chin Chuan had just installed a bomb on the strong man. Chin Chuan didn't pay attention to their looks, but looked thoughtfully at the place where the strong man exploded. In the fifth part, Polnareff introduced the procedures for awakening avatars by carrying extraterrestrial viruses on these arrows, and also mentioned the fate of some researchers who were inadvertently exposed to the virus. After those researchers were exposed to the virus, they did not awaken their avatars alive, but were eroded to death by the virus, but before they died, thunder, lightning and fire broke out. In other words, even dead people will show something similar to the ability of a substitute for a moment. If this strong man could awaken the substitute alive, then the substitute ability may be related to explosions, but he did not have the qualifications to be a substitute, so he exploded himself, leaving even the corpse behind. After seeing the faces of people who failed to awaken as substitutes, Chin Chuan was also satisfied, and he used arrows to test the substitute qualifications of these bar staff. It's a pity that these people don't have the qualifications to stand in as substitutes. Are you in the underworld? Putting the arrow away, Chin Chuan looked at the bar staff and asked. Hearing Chin Chuan's question, they looked at each other, No, brother, you barged in and killed a person without saying a word, and then you didn't even know whether we were gangsters. Although they wanted to complain in their hearts, they did not dare to offend Chin Chuan, so they nodded. Call your boss over here, it should be fine. Chin Chuan moved a chair and sat down, then picked up a metal cup for bartending next to him and squeezed it gently. The cup instantly turned into a ball of iron. Who dares to say there is a problem now? Several staff members nodded hurriedly, regardless of how the boss would handle the matter in the end, let's save their own lives first. Looking at the bar staff going to contact people, Chin Chuan didn't care. It is normal that there are few people with the qualifications of substitutes. Even if he wants to recruit some people to develop his own power, it is impossible to turn everyone into substitute messengers. Only a few substitute messengers are enough. As the power develops and more people come into contact, more people with substitute qualifications will always be found. As long as this arrow is there and a superior substitute messenger can be created, then the development of the power will not be hindered. In fact, if Chin Chuan is willing, he can start from scratch, but that would be too slow to start. 
It would be more appropriate to randomly pick a gangster force as a starting point. Is it you who said you wanted to find me? Chin Chuan was not kept waiting for too long. About half an hour later, a middle-aged man with a sharp temperament opened the door of the bar and walked in. Of course, as a gangster, he naturally has a group of people behind him. As soon as they entered the bar, these people swarmed up in unison and surrounded Chin Chuan, leaving only the leading middle-aged man staring at Chin Chuan in the middle. Through the perception of Qi, Chin Chuan could also feel that someone behind him was making a gesture of pulling something out, probably a gun. Yes, I'm looking for you. What's your name? Chin Chuan still maintained his previous posture, sitting on the chair and asked the middle-aged man. His tone was indifferent, as if he didn't care at all about being surrounded by so many people. The middle-aged man frowned when he saw this, and instinctively felt that something was wrong. Chin Chuan looked like a high school student. What confidence did he have to face so many people without changing his expression? Unable to figure out Chin Chuan's details, the middle-aged man paused and answered Chin Chuan's question. Everyone on the road calls me Kiryu, what about you? Who are you? Kiryu. Your name is Kiryu Kazuma, right? Suddenly hearing a familiar last name, Chin Chuan was stunned, and then asked subconsciously. This surname reminded him of another guy, who was also a gangster. Who is that? Unfortunately, Chin Chuan's question did not get an ideal answer. The man who called himself Kiryu was stunned for a moment, and seemed not to recognize the name Chin Chuan mentioned. Quote dot dot dot. That's right. You and he don't look alike. It seems like it's just a coincidence. Seeing that this guy didn't seem to be lying, Chin Chuan also sighed. It seemed that it was just a mysterious coincidence after all. After this little episode, Chin Chuan was not in the mood to chat with him anymore and went straight to the point. Kiryu, simply put, I want you to do something for me. Kiryu showed a puzzled expression on his face, and then looked at the reactions of the younger brothers around him. Their reactions were similar to Kiryu's, they were all stunned by Chin Chuan's words. No wonder they reacted like this. An unarmed high school student ran into the bar to cause trouble, called the boss behind him, and asked him to do things for him without saying a word. Kiryu could even imagine that if word of this got out, he would be laughed at by other gangsters for several years the next day. Thinking of this, Kiryu's expression became a little fierce. Boy, if you just want to piss me off, then. Boom. As soon as he finished speaking, the surrounding situation changed dramatically, with Kiryu completely unaware, countless violent collisions sounded almost at the same time. Then, Kiryu was horrified to find that the dozens of younger brothers surrounding Chin Chuan and him all flew into the air in an instant. Without any warning, these guys seemed to have been suddenly punched from bottom to top by someone, and then blasted into the air by huge force. Some of them were so miserable that their bodies even hit the ceiling and suffered secondary injuries. Then, under Kiryu's fearful gaze, these young men fell to the ground one after another and let out shrill screams. Many of them even fainted from the pain. This is, what did you do? Kiryu was completely frightened. He had been on the road for so long, but he had never heard of such a thing. The scene just now was simply not something that humans could do. Everyone was knocked away almost at the same time, and it was still a terrifying force that could send people flying directly into the air. Superpowers. How can there be people with superpowers in this world? Of course, Kiryu didn't know anything about substitute messengers, so he took it for granted that Chin Chuan had used some kind of superpower. In fact, it's not wrong. Chin Chuan just used Blackbird World to stop time, and then in a few seconds, he asked Blackbird to punch the people surrounding him, and then canceled the time stop. The final effect was what Kiryu saw. Relying on his strength and hard work, Kiryu became quite famous in the Shimokitazawa circle, and even relied on his connections on the road to hook up with several underworld giants in Tokyo. But even so, he has never heard anything about superpowers from those big shots this is the first time he has truly seen a power zone beyond the imagination of ordinary people. How is it? Pretty good power, right? Chin Chuan stood up from his chair and walked in front of Kiryu. As a high school student, Chin Chuan was naturally shorter than Kiryu, a sturdy middle-aged man. But seeing Chin Chuan standing in front of him, Tongyu felt that he was the dwarf. Do you want such power? You. Dot you mean, can I also have this power? 
Hearing Qin Chuan's words, Kiryu's heart beat violently, as a man, who doesn't want to have power beyond ordinary people. Although Qin Chuan's power made Tongyu feel scared just now, at this moment, faced with the temptation of gaining superpowers, Tongyu was still moved. Of course, you have the qualifications. Qin Chuan smiled and took out the arrow from his pocket, and let go of his hand, only to see the black and gold arrow turning in Qin Chuan's palm, and finally stopped straight in the direction of Kiryu. Kiryu is qualified as a substitute, which is convenient for Qin Chuan, after all, Kiryu is the boss of this organization, so there is no need to support other substitutes to take over the organization. But like I just said, if you want to accept this power, you have to do things for me. Are you sure you are ready? I, of course, I'm willing to do anything for you. Kiryu looked at the arrow in Qin Chuan's hand. Although he didn't know what it was used for, the thought of gaining superpowers overwhelmed everything else. He gritted his teeth and knelt down to Qin Chuan in a very standard Japanese kneeling posture, the Japanese gangsters seemed to like this kind of tradition very much. Just talking about it is meaningless. I have my own ways to prevent you from getting rid of my control. There is no turning back for you. Qin Chuan chuckled, looked at Kiryu who raised his head, flicked his finger, and fired the arrow in his hand straight into Kiryu's throat, piercing it. Well, his throat was pierced by an arrow, and Kiryu's face suddenly turned pale and he subconsciously wanted to struggle. But soon, he felt a strange feeling spread throughout his body, and the original puncture wound seemed to be healing immediately. And then, his eyes looked behind Chin Chuan. In his field of vision, there was a dark figure gradually becoming more and more obvious. Oh, can you see the substitute? It seems that the substitute can indeed be awakened. Chinchuan naturally noticed Kiryu's gaze and understood that he had seen his substitute, Blackbird. This made him couldn't help but nod. Kiryu was actually an experiment, used to test whether arrows could really awaken people's avatars in reality. Now it seems that there should be no problem. Even people in the real world can use arrows to obtain substitute abilities. Now that you can see my, Blackbird, that's just right let you see what happens next, so as to prevent you from having some thoughts that you shouldn't have. Although Kiryu could see the substitute, Chin Chuan was not ready to stop what he was going to do next. Black Bird Justice. Under his control, the Black Bird suddenly raised its hand, and a trace of black mist separated from its fingertips and fell in front of Chin Chuan. The ability gained after swallowing N, 840, Ya stand in allows Blackbird to transform itself into a mist body in separate Zunchi. The separated mist can enter the person's body through the wound and control the corresponding part of the wound, but if you want to completely control other people's bodies, you must completely kill them. Chin Chuan had no idea of manipulating corpses. After all, he would have to devote a lot of energy to controlling other people's actions, which would be too tiring. This separated black mist gradually transformed into a very small black crow under Chin Chuan's control. Blackbird lovers. After Chin Chuan killed Dio, he returned to Dio's mansion and met Iron Adam there. Iron Adam is also one of Dio's men and has a stand in named, Lover. According to the progress of the original work, after Enya fails to assassinate the protagonist group, he will take the initiative to ambush the protagonist group. But Enya was killed by Chin Chuan before going to assassinate the protagonist group, so Iron Adam naturally still stayed in Dio's mansion, and was swallowed by Chin Chuan as his substitute. The avatar named, Lover, was originally in the shape of a golden bug, which could penetrate into the human body through holes such as ears and lurk directly into the god of the brain. After being swallowed by the, Blackbird, the, Lover, separated from the Blackbird turned into a small black crow although it was too small and looked a bit like a mosquito. Go. Under Chin Chuan's control, the small black crow flew in front of Kiryu in an instant, and then got into his ear under his nervous gaze. You also saw that the black crow has got into your ear, and immediately, oh, it has sneaked into your brain. As the master of Blackbird, Chin Chu could certainly feel the state of, Blackbird lover, at this time and confirmed that it had reached Kiryu's brain. As long as I want, I can directly let it operate your nerves, or directly let it destroy your brain. I, I understand. Tongsheng's forehead suddenly shed a lot of cold sweat, and he could feel that Chin Chuan was not joking. Once he has any thoughts that are not conducive to Chin Chuan, 
he will really destroy his brain mercilessly and kill himself completely. And he also knows now that the figure behind Chin Chuan cannot be seen by ordinary people, so even if he is killed by Chin Chuan, no one will think that it was Chin Chuan who did it. Even if the cause of death is examined and even if an autopsy is performed, the result will probably be a mystery such as, the deceased's brain inexplicably turned into a ball of flesh without any trauma. Chin Chuan looked at Tong Sheng's fearful expression and nodded with satisfaction. As the wound healed, now you should awaken the substitute. Call the substitute out and take a look. Dot dot dot. Stand in. Ah, oh, okay, I understand. Quote. Kiryu was stunned when he heard this, and then immediately realized that the figure with special abilities behind Chin Chuan was called a substitute. And now, he should also have a substitute. Kiryu stood up quickly and found something on his chest, and quickly reached out to catch it. It was an arrowhead that fell from his neck. After the wound healed, the arrowhead was squeezed out. Holding the arrow in both hands, he respectfully returned it to Chin Chuan, and then Kiryu began to try to call his substitute. Drink. He let out a very middle-aged cry, and under Chin Chuan's somewhat speechless gaze, a ball of white substance spewed out from behind him. The white stuff was like silt, with a certain softness, and finally condensed at Kiryu's feet, turning into a spherical substance similar to slime. A. Hey, why is my substitute like this? Kiryu looked at the white slime at his feet with a stunned expression on his face. This is different from what he imagined. Chin Chuan's substitute is obviously such a handsome black humanoid, why does his own substitute look like this? The avatars are not necessarily humanoid, there are also animals and dead objects, and some avatars are wearable like clothes. Chin Chuan put away the arrowhead, then asked the black bird to step forward, take a ball from the white slime, and swallow it directly. What is your stand in ability? My stand in ability, seems to be that I can deform at will and solidify into something like metal. Kiryu felt it for a while and quickly understood his substitute ability. Under Kiryu's control, the white slime instantly wrapped around his hand and turned into a long sharp knife, whose sharpness was vaguely visible. Although it's not a very interesting ability, it's okay. As long as you operate it well, it can even turn into a large number of weapons surrounding you, making it impossible for others to get close. Chin Chuan nodded and said with a smile. But you are very smart and don't try to hide your abilities. It seems that you are still self-aware. Ah. Kiryu didn't understand what Chin Chuan meant at first, but Chin didn't answer him either. Just now, Chin Chuan asked the black bird to swallow a piece of Kiryu's substitute. The purpose was to obtain a little bit of Kiryu's substitute ability, so as to confirm whether Kiryu had concealed anything about his substitute ability. If Kiryu still had bad intentions towards himself, he would probably lie about his substitute's abilities in order to trick him at critical moments in the future. However, Kiryu didn't hide it. The substitute ability he mentioned was the same as Chin Chuan's ability that was swallowed by the black bird. Now the black bird can also turn his body into soft material and sharp blades. If you have time, give your substitute a name. I'm leaving first. Oh, give me your contact information. After getting Kiryu's contact information, Chin Chuan was ready to leave. 0.4. But when he left the bar, he gave Kiryu a somewhat thoughtful look. You are already a substitute, and your scope of activities should not be limited to the small Shimokitazawa. Try walking outside. Upon hearing Chin Chuan's hint, Tongsheng's eyes suddenly lit up. Needless to say, Chin Chuan said that Tongsheng himself had already had this idea after becoming a substitute messenger, but after getting Chin Chuan's intention, he could be more confident and bold. Because in this way, if you encounter something that cannot be settled, you may be able to ask Chin Chuan to take action. Even though he has now obtained a substitute, he has become more powerful than ordinary people, but it is precisely because of obtaining a substitute that he understands even more how incredible what Chin Chuan did just now is. The scene where countless people were blown away in that moment was probably something that Kiryu's stand-in would never be able to do in his lifetime. After coming out of the bar, Chin Chuan was also ready to go home. Tonight he had to go see the third mission world and the current situation of the Jojo world. There is also the Dragon Ball world that people love to hate. I wonder if there is any way to save the rush world of Dragon Ball world. It is really torture. 
But on the way to Shimokitazawa subway station, Chinchuan saw a strange figure at the corner of the street. It seemed to be a strange guy wearing pink sportswear, carrying a guitar bag that seemed a little bigger than her on his back. Judging from his staggering steps, he seemed to be exhausted. Weird guy. Chin Chuan didn't care and walked into the subway station. Welcome back. After returning home, Ogihara Shajo came up to greet Chin Chuan in pajamas. Want to take a bath? I'll get you hot water right away. Well, I'll trouble you then. Chin Chuan nodded, put on his slippers and walked into the house, then took a look at the situation inside the house. Obviously, the house is much cleaner than when he left this morning. It seems that Ogiwara Seu has cleaned the house well. The scene of Ogiwara Seu running out to greet him just now looked a bit like a newlywed wife, Owen didn't know if she realized it. But thinking about what happened last night, after having done all that kind of things, this little thing seems to be nothing. After a while, Seu Ogiwara walked out of the bathroom, smiled and said to Chin Chuan. The water has been put, go and wash it quickly. Um, Chin Chuan picked up a change of clothes and walked towards the bathroom, asking a question by the way. Is the money enough? Do you want me to give you some more? I just conquered Kiryu's organization today. If you need money, just ask Kiryu directly. And if nothing unexpected happens, Kiryu will continue to expand his power outwards, and everything Chin Chuan will do will become much more convenient. No, no, there's still some left. Seu Ogiwara quickly waved her hand and said with a blushing smile. At this time, she had just run away from home and had not encountered any social dangers. She met Chin Chuan and was taken care of, so she was naturally very happy. After taking a shower, Chin Chuan turned on the computer and played games online as usual, while Seu Ogiwara sat on the bed and played on her mobile phone. Originally, Chin Chuan was going to give up the second bedroom to Seu Ogiwara, but Seu Ogiwara struggled for a while and chose to sleep in the same bed as Chin Chuan. Since Ogiwara Seu himself has no objection, Chin Chuan will naturally not refuse. It seems that this bedroom will become a double room in the future. Fortunately, my bed is big enough to sleep two people. The life-saving angel. Oh. You're back. How does it feel to date a girl? As soon as the game was launched, a familiar ID immediately sent a private message, making Chin Chuan wonder if this guy was really keeping an eye on his launch time all day long. Kobold. Normally, I don't feel much. How does it feel to work? Although I did spend the whole day with Yukinoshita Yukino today, because I basically spent the afternoon training kendo techniques at the kendo hall, I didn't actually have much communication with Yukinoshita Yukino. Of course he wanted to have more contact with cute girls, and Yukinoshita Yukino was undoubtedly a very beautiful girl. Although she felt a little sad in her chest, her appearance was beyond words. However, Chin Chuan will not give up what he wants to do in order to pursue a girl. He is not very interested in taking the initiative to get involved and then being bitten by Yukinoshita Yukino. Angel who saved lives and injured people, there were no customers at all in the coffee shop. They basically just sat there and played with their mobile phones. Kobold. It's a miracle that you didn't get kicked out by the store manager with your attitude. I really want to see what kind of good guy your store manager is. Although he had known before that this life-saving angel was going to work on the weekend, he still couldn't help but sympathize with the unknown store manager when he heard that this guy was so passive and slow in his work. Kobold. So what's going on with the team today? Are you going to play a dungeon? Angel of Life Saving and Wounding, of course. Today there is an official event. The weekly task is to fight a designated high difficulty dungeon. I don't want to fight without you. Chin Chuan is one of the few masters in this online game team who doesn't spend much money and relies entirely on technical support. Of course, the Angel of Life Saving and Wounding wants to play the dungeon with him. But not earning money is a thing of the past. If Chin Chuan wants money now, there will be no shortage of it. In the future, he may also start to try to earn money in online games. The desire to spend money that has been suppressed for so long can finally be released. It's quite touching to think about it. With the prospect of making money in the future, Chin Chuan and several of his online gaming friends played games comfortably all night and relaxed their mood. Relying on the improved reaction ability brought by combat effectiveness, Chin Chuan's skills can be said to have improved several levels compared to before.
No detail in the game can escape Chin Chuan's eyes. If the perception of Qi hadn't been able to act on electronic components, he might have been able to go one step further. It's a pity. It would be better if I could enter the fourth part of Jojo and get the substitute, Shin Chili Pepper, who can control electricity. Thinking of this, Chin Chuan couldn't help but think of Yin Shiming, a minor villain in the fourth part of Jojo. His stand-in, Xin Hong Zhao, has the ability to manipulate electricity. In the context of comics in the 1990s, 903 may not seem so outstanding, but if placed in modern society where electrical appliances are popular, it is a real killer. The spicy red pepper in the original work can already sneak itself into the TV screen. It can be seen that its manipulation of electric current can be very precise. In modern times, it is simply a physics hacker. It's a pity that Jojo World has been cleared. I don't know what it will be like. I should know it when I go to bed later. After a few hours, I close the game. Are you going to rest? Seu Ogiwara who was sitting on the bed and playing with her mobile phone, also saw Chin Chuan's actions. She immediately put down her mobile phone and stared straight at Chin Chuan. Yeah, it's almost time to rest. Chin Chuan turned off the computer, walked to the bed, and immediately saw Ogiwara Seo looking straight at him. What? Is there anything you want to do? Seo Ogiwara didn't say anything. She saw Chin Chuan's lips curled up with a hint of ant, and she immediately pouted. You clearly know what I want to do. It can be seen that after the adolescent girl experienced it for the first time with her crush, she also fell in love with that feeling. Chin Chuan chuckled, hugged Seu Ogiwara, and rolled on the bed. It seems that the time to enter the mission world tonight will have to be postponed for a while. A girl who knows how to eat marrow and taste is also very deadly when pestering people. As the saying goes, there are only exhausted cows and no plowed fields, and there is some truth in that. Fortunately, Chin Chuan is no longer an ordinary person. With his current physique, let alone Ogiwara Seu, no amount of him can fight him. After the battle was over, Chin Chuan hugged Seu Ogiwara and slowly fell into a deep sleep. Dear Kobold, please select the mission world you want to enter. 1. Dragon Ball. 21. Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. The main mission is being generated 3, Fate, 0. After falling asleep, Chin Chuan once again saw the world selection interface from Infinite Horror VR game, which still had the three options he saw before exiting. But what is different from before is that this time the second option, Jojo's Bizarre Adventure, World, is followed by a line of text saying that the main mission is being generated. Is it generating a new main quest? Can I still enter it? Chin Chuan was a little curious and tried to click on the Jojo World option to see if he could still enter the Jojo World now. Even if he really enters, Chin Chuan will not panic. Anyway, the Dragon Ball World that he cares about most is still on the way, and the exploration of the Xingyu World is not in a hurry. However, Chin Chuan's idea did not come true. After choosing Jojo World, a new window popped up in front of him. Dear Cobbles, the main mission of this world is still being generated and cannot be entered. Please enter the game after the main mission is generated. Current World. Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. Main Mission. Generating. Synchronization of Player Kobold Strength. 100%. Players are requested to try their best to advance the main mission and unlock strength synchronization. The original main mission, Destroy Dio, has been changed to Generate and Medium. It seems that after the new main mission appears, you can no longer enter the Jojo world. But this is fine. Chin Chuan was originally worried that this world would be abandoned, but now it seems that it can still be used. There are still many good substitute abilities in the Jojo world. Although they cannot help improve Chin Chuan's strength, many substitutes are still very functional. Even Frieza could easily suffer a big loss without knowing Chin Chuan's ability as a substitute. Of course, the premise is that Chin Chuan's combat power can cause damage to Frieza. If he can't break Frieza's defense, then there is no point in being a strong substitute. Just like when Dior faced Chin Chuan, even though he had a powerful ability to stop time, he could not cause harm to Chin Chuan at all, so he was just entertaining himself. After a set of punches, his hands were broken. Dior's situation at that time also made Chin Chuan laugh and cry. 
Since the Jojo world cannot be entered, and the Dragon Ball world still needs to continue sailing for 3 to 4 days to reach Zunuo, it seems that the only thing Chin Chuan can do is explore the third world. That is, the world of Xingyu, although the name of the mission world is, Fate Zero, its background does bring to life the huge world view of multiple works. Unfortunately, due to the restrictions of its main mission, it is probably difficult for Chin Chuan to leave the mission map Fuyuki City and go to other areas to explore the power of the moon world. Current World Fate Zero Main Mission Obtain the Holy Grail of the Fourth Holy Grail War Synchronization of Player Kobold Strength 0% Players are requested to try their best to advance the main mission and unlock strength synchronization. The Holy Grail War is a battle ritual in which seven magicians are the participants. With the help of the Holy Grail ritual, they summon servants who are the incarnations of heroic spirits from history, mythology and legends, and fight each other. The ultimate purpose of this ritual is to kill as many of the summoned servants as possible, return them to the Holy Grail, and finally complete the ritual of the Holy Grove. Because the Yusan family who created the Holy Grail War declared to the outside world that the Holy Grail is a universal wishing machine and an existence that can realize all wishes, so occasionally some other magicians will come to participate in the war. The story of Fate Zero tells the story of the Fourth Holy Grail War, and everything takes place in a city called Fuyuki City. After choosing to enter this world, Chin Chuan felt that his body was slowly sinking, as if he was falling continuously in the water. Because the main mission talks about obtaining the Holy Grail of the Fourth Holy Grail War, Chin Chuan still wants to fight for it even if he knows that the Holy Grail has actually been contaminated by the evil of this world. Having said that, Chin Chuan actually didn't have much motivation. He only completed the main mission thinking, maybe the three rewards given after clearing this world will be something good. To put it bluntly, there seems to be no new power in the Xingyu world worthy of Chin Chuan's synchronization so it is naturally difficult for him to have the idea of working hard to improve the synchronization rate. I just don't know what my identity will be when I enter the world this time. If after arriving in the world, I find that there is no command spell on the back of my hand, I will have to find a way to grab a place in the competition. As for who to grab, he had already thought about it, so he would grab Ryunosuke Yusei. It's not because this guy is full of evil that Chin Chuan wants to do justice for heaven, but because Yu Sheng Ryunosuke is actually relatively easy to find. The other participants in the battle were slandering each other, wishing they could let their familiars do the work for them when they went out. Chin Chuan was too lazy to find them. Of course, there is actually someone who is easier to find, and that is Tokiomi Tokiomi, that guy must be hiding in the basement of Tosaka's house, so you can find him accurately. But this guy colluded with the referee of the church, Haha Jiao. If he went directly to kill Tokiomi Tosaka and steal the command spell, the church might find a way to stop the Holy Grail match. Although he has no motivation to complete the main mission, he does not want to be hindered by the possibility of completing the mission. It would be better if I could bring my own command spell. I hope I can arrange a better identity. Soon, Chin Chuan felt that his feet had touched the bottom and his body was freed from the feeling of being wrapped in water just now. He slowly opened his eyes, and then he saw a little girl with black hair and twin tails standing in front of him, looking at him with a dull expression on her face. It succeeded. Ha! Huh. Before Chin Chuan could realize what was going on, he heard this black-haired twin tail lowly suddenly raise her hands in the air and shout excitedly. I successfully summoned the servant. Chin Chuan thought about many possibilities of his identity when he came, but he never thought that he would come as a heroic spirit. There is no legend about him in the Xingyu world. For the restraint of this world, Chin Chuan should be regarded as a standard alien. I don't know how my system allowed me to come into this world as a heroic spirit. And what made him even more speechless was that he was actually summoned by Tasaka Rin, one of the protagonists in the Fifth Holy Grail War, but now he is just a little lowly. It seemed that she was worried about her father, Tokiomi Tosaka, so she also tried to follow the summoning ritual left by Tokiomi Tosaka and randomly drew a summoning circle in the corridor. In the end, it was actually summoned, and Chin Chuan became this little girl's servant inexplicably. Wow, I was just trying it out, but I didn't expect it to actually be summoned. Am I a genius? Although she was still a little girl, 
Tasaka Rin already showed a considerable degree of narcissism at this time, and she already had the personality of a high school student. She looked up at Chin Chuan, then circled around Chin Chuan, and finally stopped in front of Chin Chuan, put her hands on her hips and said, My servant, what is your name? What is your rank? What are your abilities? Can't you see for yourself? Chin Chuan was a little speechless. Masters in the Holy Grail War can observe the basic panel data of their servants. Although they cannot detect the true name and noble phantasm, it is still no problem to see the attribute values and so on. My name is Chin Chuan. My rank seems to be Berserker. When it comes to the human world, the Holy Grail injects the common sense of modern society into the memories of the heroic spirits in order to prevent them from causing trouble in the new era. Of course Chin Chuan doesn't need these things, but the Holy Grail doesn't know whether the program is too rigid or whether it has stuffed something into Chin Chuan's memory. At least Chin Chuan now knows that his class is Berserker, that is, Berserker. In the Holy Grail War, he often sacrifices his reason for strength. What? Berserker? How do you look like a Berserker? Hearing Chin Chuan's answer, Tasaka Rin was stunned. She looked Chin Chuan up and down to confirm that he did not seem to have lost his mind. And I've never heard of a hero named Chin Chuan. You have read a few books at a young age, and you feel like you can know the names of all heroes. Chin Chuan unceremoniously reached out and rubbed Tasaka Rin's cerebellum ABDJ bag, and then looked at her and she struggled out of his big hand with some annoyance. However, taking this opportunity, Chin Chuan also saw himself as a heroic spirit in this world. Strength. X. Durability. X. Agility. X. Magic. C. Lucky. E. Noble Phantasm. X. Class Ability. Madness E. A. For unknown reasons, you can choose to turn on and off madness at your own discretion. When turned on, parameters other than luck and magic power will be doubled, and language will be lost. Work. Noble Phantasm. Stand Blackbird Destructive Power E, Infinity, Speed E, Infinity, Range A, Endurance B, Precision C, Growth Rate A, Black Humanoid Stand, with the same power and speed as the main body, can acquire its abilities by swallowing other things. Thanks to the blessing of becoming a heroic spirit, Chin Chuan saw his stand in panel for the first time. Because the destructive power and speed are inherited from the main body, the upper and lower limits are naturally the lowest and the highest. However, his magic parameter is actually C. It seems that his use of Qi is not recognized as magic by the Holy Grail. Otherwise, with the ability to completely control Qi, it is impossible to do so. But even so, this panel is already very scary. If other masters see the 4x parameters, they will probably be repelled. Is this, this parameter true? Tasaka Rin was also shocked by Chin Chuan's panel. As a master, she had no idea that she could summon such a terrifying heroic spirit. What's even more exaggerated is that with such a terrifying panel, Tasaka Rin didn't feel that he needed to provide much magic power, as if Chin Chuan could complete the self-sufficiency of magic power by himself. If Chin Chuan knew Tasaka Rin's thoughts at this time, he would probably realize that it was the Qi in his body that maintained his existence. But it is precisely because he does not need to accept too much magic power provided by Rin Tosaka, so he is not actually controlled by Rin Tosaka. However, Chin Chuan's attention was not on these attribute parameters at this time. His eyes were completely focused on his own class abilities. That is the madness. According to the description, he can choose to turn this madness on and off at his own discretion. When it is closed, he is as normal as usual, able to speak normally and move without being hindered. But once it is turned on, he can gain a full range of attributes and double his promotion at the cost of losing his language ability. Isn't this not the Kaio fist with the side effect of being unable to speak? The first time he saw this ability, Chin Chuan immediately realized how important this class ability was to him. That's double the attributes. Sun Goku, the protagonist in the original Dragon Ball, before he turned into a Super Saiyan, he relied on Kaio Fist to kill people everywhere. Although Madness is not like Kaioken, which can be stacked several times, but, this thing does not have any side effects that burden the body. At least among the heroic spirits in the Moon World, there are many who have gone berserk, and no one has said that their body collapsed due to their berserk state. 
If before entering this mission world, Qin Chuan had no motivation at all to complete the main mission. Now, Qin Chuan has decided to complete the main mission no matter what, and synchronize this, madness, ability. With this thing, the combat power that I need to improve in the Dragon Ball world will be reduced by half. Berserker, I am your master, right? Just when Qin Chuan had made up his mind to work hard to complete the main mission, Tasaka Rin seemed to have finally come to his senses. She looked at Qin Chuan and asked with a serious look on her face. In this case, you should be able to complete the master's mission, right? Is there a master as unsure as you? Qin Chuan looked at Tasaka Rin with some dumbfounding, although when he first summoned Qin Chuan, Tasaka Rin acted very confident, which was in line with Qin Chuan's impression of her. But after looking at Qin Chuan's heaven-defying parameter panel, she seemed a little unable to believe that this was actually the servant she had summoned. So now when she talks to Qin Chuan, she feels a little less confident. What do you want to do? Seeing that Qin Chuan seemed to respect him as the master, Tasaka Rin also breathed a small sigh of relief, and then said to Qin Chuan. I want you to help me go to Meitu's house to see someone. Meitu Sakura, or her original name is Tasaka Sakura, is Tasaka Rin's younger sister, one year younger than Tosaka Rin. Because he was born in Tosaka Tokiomi, a family with a standard magician mentality, and considering that the Tosaka family's magic seal could only be inherited by one person, the idea of adopting another person to another magic family came up. The final result was that Tosaka Rin stayed in the Tosaka family and inherited the Tosaka family's magic seal while Tosaka Sakura was adopted into the Meitu family and changed her name to Meitu Sakura. If everything develops according to the plot of the original work, the next step should be that Meitu Sakura is transformed by the Meitu family's insect magic and leads a miserable life. Although Chinchuan remembered that according to the producer, Tokiomi Tosaka didn't know about the Meitu family's insect magic, so he sent his daughter away. However, it is also true that he pushed his daughter into the abyss. I see. Go to Meitu's house to see how your sister is doing, right? Chin Chuan looked at Tasaka Rin, and after understanding her needs from her, he nodded. This, mission, is in line with Tasaka Rin's hopes as a child. However, unlike Tosaka Rin, Chin Chuan knew what kind of treatment Meitu Sakura would receive in the future. So after listening to Tasaka Rin's mission, Chin Chuan asked one more question. If your sister suffered inhuman treatment at the Meitu family, do you need me to do anything? What is inhuman treatment? The Meitu family is also a magic family, how could they do something like that? Tasaka Rin glanced at Chin Chuan with some dissatisfaction, seeming to be dissatisfied with his wording. In the eyes of Tasaka Rin, who is still a child, the magic family should be just like her Tosaka family, noble, gorgeous, and full of aristocratic temperament. How could the Meitu family, as one of the third most famous families like the Tosaka family, do anything excessive to their future heir? This can be regarded as the innocence of Tosaka Rin. Although she always pretends to know everything, in fact she is just a child after all. I mean, if, after all, you have to take all possibilities into consideration when performing a mission, right? Chin Chuan said as if coaxing a child, although he has never taken care of a child, he still has some theoretical knowledge in dealing with such a child with a somewhat arrogant personality. Although the theoretical knowledge all comes from Bishojo games. That's, that's right. When Chin Chuan said this, Tasaka Rin also hesitated. She didn't think that the Meitu family would really do anything inhumane to Meitu Sakura, but she simply thought that what Chin Chuan said about, considering all possibilities, made some sense. Although this child is a little arrogant, if she thinks it makes sense, she will still listen to it. Then if Sakura really suffers some bad treatment, please rescue her. After saying that, Tasaka Rin waved his little fist pretending to be heroic. If the other party goes too far, then let the other party see how powerful you are. Although Tasaka Rin's summoning circle was copied, she really did some homework for the Holy Grail War. At the very least, she knew exactly what the attribute parameters of Chin Chuan she saw meant. They were definitely the top attributes of a heroic spirit. Understood, little master. Chin Chuan smiled and rubbed Tasaka Rin's head, not to mention, the little lowly's head felt quite good. Don't touch my head, you guy. 
Tasaka Rin slapped Chin Chuan's hand away with dissatisfaction. Of course, the main reason was that Chin Chuan had touched enough, how could Rin Tosaka, who was originally chosen, slap his hand away? Seeing Chin Chuan staring at him with a smile, Tasaka Rin stamped his foot angrily. Go quickly. Holding the map provided by Tasaka Rin in his hand, Chin Chuan walked out of the room. This house is not Tasaka's mansion, but a property purchased by Tasaka Tokiomi on the outskirts of Fuyuki City in order to prevent the Holy Grail War from affecting his family. According to the plan, Tasaka Rin and her mother Tosaka Aoi will live here until the end of the Holy Grail War. Tokiomi Tosaka didn't seem to have considered the possibility of losing at all, so the follow-up arrangements were also very hasty. It was basically a simple plan of, I will take you home when I win. When he went out, Chin Chuan did not see Tosaka Rin's mother Tosaka Aoi, maybe she was in another room. I don't know when Tosaka Rin told Tosaka Aoi or even Tosaka Tokiomi about her affairs. Chin Chuan had no doubt that Tosaka Rin would tell this matter. After all, he was just a newly summoned heroic spirit. In Tosaka Rin's mind, family must still be important. However, Chin Chuan is not a soft persimmon. If Tokiomi Tosaka dares to let him do something unreasonable, then Chin Chuan will have to teach him what fists are the last word. Because he does not rely much on Tosaka Rin's negligible magic power, Chin Chuan's ability to act independently is still very strong, and may have exceeded Archer's class ability to act alone. Can the command spell break through the chi in one's body and forcefully control one's body? Chin Chuan is still very confident in himself. But the Tosaka mother and daughter have already moved out of the Tosaka family, that means the Holy Grail War should have reached the final stage of preparation. Looking at the deserted streets because the location was too remote, Chin Chuan could only use his legs to walk. If it had been a little later, Meitu Sakura would have been thrown into the Meitu family's insect library, and then that scene would have stimulated Meitu Karia and accelerated his pace to become the master. Running quickly along the street with his legs, Chin Chuan was thinking about his next action plan. Unlike the Jojo world, the heroic spirits in the Holy Grail War have truly highly destructive weapons, so I have to make good use of sub-air healing energy. Although the Jojo world has all kinds of strange abilities, the damage it can deal is actually very limited. Even in the fifth part, firearms are still one of the mainstream output methods. With Chin Chuan's strength, of course there is no need to worry about getting beaten in the Jojo world. Except for special abilities such as space system, Chin Chuan will not break his skin even if he stands there and gets beaten by his substitutes. Chin Chuan's current combat effectiveness may be slightly worse than that of Little Wukong who caused trouble with the Red Silk Army. At that time, Little Wukong was fine with a rocket launcher, but Chin Chuan could not guarantee that he would not be hurt by a rocket launcher. After the noble phantasms of some heroic spirits are released, their power is indeed far greater than that of rocket launchers. Tisk, I still don't have enough fighting power. Chin Chuan once again thought about the combat power of Dragon Ball World, if you can bring out a few hundred points of combat power, why bother? When a Qigong wave is fired out, the moon can rise. How can I still be afraid of your mere cannon? The shape of the Meitu house is that of Japan's famous fish scale house, which was a bungalow built for foreigners to live in before. It sounds strange that a Japanese family actually lives in a foreigner's bungalow, but considering that the Meitu family originally immigrated from abroad, it is not surprising. The three gossip families in the Holy Grail War are indeed not short of money. Even though the Meitu family is so poor in terms of magic qualifications in the original work, they are still rich in assets. Standing at the gate of Meitu House, Chin Chuan stroked his chin and looked at the fish scale house, thinking about how to bring Meitu Sakura out. Yes, from the beginning, he didn't just want to simply see how Meitu Sakura is doing, but he was ready to bring Meitu Sakura out from the beginning. That's why he specifically asked Tasaka Rin to plan that Meitu Sakura has suffered inhuman treatment, so that taking Meitu Sakura out of 127, would not be considered a violation of the agreement with Tasaka Rin. As for why you should do this, he was probably just unhappy with the Meitu family's behavior. He really didn't like bugs or anything like that. After making a decision, he walked towards the door of Meitu house. The huge fence door was cut open by invisible force the moment Chin Chuan approached, 
revealing a huge circular hole, and Qin Chuan simply walked in from inside. Hiding, that kind of thing is not necessary. He would hide his body when searching for Dio's mansion in the Jojo world, mainly to avoid alerting others, but there is no need to consider this here. Because even if the snake is alerted, the head of the Meitu family, Meitu Zhangyan, will not escape unless he is really willing to give up the holy grail that he has been pursuing for 200 years. After Qin Chuan forcibly broke through the fence gate, the magic mechanism in the courtyard was immediately activated. As a magic family, the Meitu family's magic workshop is of course equipped with a large number of magic mechanisms. When someone invades, the courtyard and interior of the Meitu residence will become ruthless murder weapons. However, unlike the Tosaka family's gem magic, the head of the Meitu family, Meitu Zukan, is best at insect magic, so of course, the means of dealing with intruders is also insects. The next moment, a large number of flying insects emerged from the haystacks and trees in the courtyard. Each one had sharp teeth and carried very obvious magic power, and rushed towards Chinchuan. If he were an ordinary magician, his body would be eaten away by these insects and turned into a pile of bones. But Chin Chuan didn't even look at the insects, he just continued walking towards the building door of Meitu residence. Crack. Then, just as those flying insects were about to fly to Chin Chuan's side, they disappeared in an instant, leaving only a harsh sound as if they had been cut by something. If someone were standing nearby and watching at this time, it would not be difficult to find that no insect could enter the spherical area centered on Chinchuan. Whenever those bugs rush into that spherical range, they will disappear from the world in an instant like a picture erased by an eraser, leaving no trace behind. This is the black bird air miasma. Behind Chin Chuan, the black bird releases a space that can swallow everything. Of course, these flying insects cannot break through this line of defense. The ability to remove space is difficult to deal with in many works, and the Meitu family's insect magic is naturally powerless. In this way, Qin Chuan walked into the Meitu family's house unimpeded. The door that had obviously been enchanted was also ruthlessly cut with a huge hole by the subterranean miasma. As soon as he walked into the room, Qin Chuan saw a short, hunched and skinny figure standing in the hall. Ha ha, what a very rude guest. Standing in the center of the hall was none other than Meitu Zoyan, the head of the Mato family. This guy's original name was Makiri Zolgan. He came to Fuyuki City 200 years ago and established the Holy Grail War system with two other magic families. But in order to achieve his goal, he was unwilling to die before completing his goal, so he chose to use insect magic to transform his body and survived until now. To put it bluntly, this guy's body is now essentially just a polymer of bugs and can no longer be considered a human being. For ordinary people, there is no doubt that Meitu Zhangyan is a very powerful magician and a very huge threat. However, facing Chinchuan at this moment, it is Meitu Zhangyan who is waiting for him. He also saw clearly what Chin Chuan was going through just now, and he said bluntly that he really had no means to deal with Chin Chuan. The spherical space with Chinchuan is the center is like a restricted area. Whoever goes there will die. He controlled countless insects to die one after another without even seeing how the other party did it. After all, Meitu Zhangyan is not a substitute. Even because he has been alive for many years, his soul has become decayed. Naturally, he cannot see the existence of the substitute. Chin Chuan had no intention of chatting with him anymore. He asked straight to the point. Where is Meitu Sakura? In fact, Chin Chuan also thought about using Qi's detection ability to search the house, but after only a brief search, he felt a little unbearable. Everywhere in the room was full of bugs, and there were even some weird bugs lurking on the ceiling. These bugs had negligible Qi, but with Chin Chuan's perfect control of Qi, he found them all easily. This made Chin Chuan feel for the first time that it was not a good thing to be too sensitive to Qi. At least the dense insects in the Tong family were a shock to his own spirit. Because he really couldn't stand these dense insects, Chin Chuan no longer wanted to use Qi to find the location of Meitu Sakura, so he just asked Meitu Zhangyan directly. Dot dot. Is this why you came here? Hearing Chin Chuan's words, Meitu Zhangyan's old face became a little tense. After noticing Chin Chuan's invasion, he thought about many possibilities, such as foreign participants coming to intimidate the local Matong family, or openly spying on intelligence. 
He even thought about the possibility that the other party might want to destroy the Meidu family directly and eliminate a participant in the war. But I never expected that the first thing the other person said when he called was to ask where Sakura Meidu 0.7 was. Is this some kind of prank played by modern young people? Could it be that you are an ally of Tokiomi Tokiomi? Meitu Sakura is already the daughter Tokiomi Tokiomi agreed to adopt to the Meitu family. If you have any questions, just go to Tokiomi Tokiomi. Just answer the question well, why do you have to talk so much nonsense? The next moment, Chin Chuan's body appeared in front of Meitu Zhangyan. It was clearly at the gate a moment ago, but it was only in the blink of an eye. No, it didn't even take a blink of an eye. Meitu Zhangyan's body was no longer a normal person. He didn't blink just now. Chin Chuan instantly crossed the direct distance between the door and the corridor and appeared in front of him. Looking at Chin Chuan's cold eyes, the experienced Meitu Zhangyan also felt extremely heavy. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and support my channel.